Hey everyone, it's Artful Artsy Amy again, and I'm back to show you how you can merge two images together in Pixlr um, after editing away a green screen. So we're going to do something kind of like this, where we're going to put our face into the screen by an artist named Edward Munch. Um, so I'm going to show you how to get started. Okay, we're back here in Pixlr, and what we want to do is we want to start by opening an image from our computer. And what we want to open first is whatever's going to be our background image. So my recommendation to you would be to provide student, students with a gallery of four or five images, or have them go on a hunt the day before, however you want to do it. But when they get to this place, they need to have the image. So we're going to open image from computer, and I'm going to use this image of the screen by Edvard Munch. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so we can see what we're doing. So that's that. I don't have to do anything. And now I want to add the other image, the face I edited away. And um, just in transparency, that's my husband's face. He was a really good egg. And let me take a picture of him for this. So a lot of people want to go to File, Open. When you do that, you're going to be opening a second file. The problem is, is that this is our file, the Scream 1 here. We want everything to be in one file. So if I open up another file, now I have two files. So the way we open up another image to be in the same file that we're in is we go to layer, open image as layer. So I'm going to show you that again, okay, because this is something that people miss this one little step and then they get very frustrated. So we're going to go to layer, open image as layer, All right? One more time, layer, open image as layer. Okay, now that I'm here, I'm going to find the head. You can see I had a few here. Um, I'm going to use this one. Okay, and there it is. Now it's a little big. It's a little Wizard of Oz right now. It's like the whiz behind the the screen there, if if you will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Edit Free Transform, and that's a very familiar little box, right? Um, you can't see it, but if I hold down the Shift button on my keyboard, it will keep the same proportions. So I can kind of just shrink it down, and I can get it in there however I like. If I want to zoom in, I can. I'll show you how to do that. So once it's kind of where you like it, you just click off to the side and Pixlr is going to ask you a question. It's going to say, do you want to apply these changes? So you would say yes. Okay. So it's not in there perfectly. So what I can do is I can zoom in. Sometimes your mouse will let you zoom in by scrolling down. If it doesn't, you just go view zoom in until it's where you like it to be. This is our move tool, so we're going to click on our move tool and kind of move this around to wherever we want it to go. It still feels a little big to me, so I go edit, free transform. I'm going to hold down my shift button again so I don't lose my proportions. And I can shrink it down to wherever I want it to be. Out here I can also twirl it a little bit. Oh, I like that. Maybe just a little bit bigger. Okay, there we go. And there it is. It's right there where I want it to be. And I can scroll out. Now, if I wanted to continue to add other things to this, like if I wanted to add um, something in the sky, I can. So the way I would add another picture if I wanted to, let's say, is I would go to Layer, Open Images Layer, and I would go find whatever that image is. So I um, have found this image. Okay. Click on it, and it's a little bit bigger than I need it to be. So I can go Edit, Free Transform, same thing. Hold down the Shift button. Make it as big or small as I want it to be. If it's not facing the direction I want it to face, I can click here and flip it around, right? How great is that? I can tilt it if I want to, um, you know, I can do whatever I want. So let's sort of do this. Yep, death is imminent. All right, there we go. Um, and then once I'm done, if I like this image, I can go file, save. And then I need to give it a nice name, so I'm going to say John Scream Dragon. And I'm going to save it as a PNG. I prefer PNGs to JPEGs. And I'm going to click OK. And then I save it wherever I want it to save, and it's ready to be turned in on Google Drive. It's ready to embed in a website. It's ready to be emailed. Um, it's just your regular image file now, and that's all there is to it in Pixlr. So I'm going to show you a few other ways to do it in other videos. Hey everyone, I wanted to show you one more thing that you can kind of do in Pixlr with green screens. Actually, there's a lot you can do, but one more simple thing is you could go find an image like this, and I'll have a link to the original artist um, in the comment section, or in the description section, excuse me. It is really important to make sure that you link to the creator of artwork because 
they didn't put this artwork out on the internet for it to be freely used for whomever and however. So it's always important to reference back and to sort of build that kind of procedure with students. So this is an image I found um, because my husband was being a very good sport and I decided to be silly. Um, so what you would do is, and I'm going to show you what I what what you can do. Excuse me, is same thing. You just sort of get rid of the padlock, but you can get your eraser tool and you can pick that sort of um, airbrush looking one, and you can zoom in a whole lot. So I'm going to zoom in a ton on whatever it is you want. Um, and so let's say I wanted to replace this guy's face with John's face. Of course, the problem is, is I want the beard to still stay. So I just sort of delete away all of what I don't want um, and I, I would be a lot more precise than I'm being right now but let's say I delete all of that away okay so I've deleted it all away and then I'm going to go to layer open image as new layer and insert John's face which I actually did right before I started the video so there's John's face um, and what I would do is I would shrink it and move it to wherever I want it to be so I've moved it right here on top of the figure of course that doesn't look as great as I would want it to look what I can do over here in the layer box see where layer one that's John's face and layer zero is the actual wizard I can move those and now it actually looks like John's face has that particular beard on it. And I can still manipulate John's face if I wanted to. I can click um, on Edit, Free Transform. And I can still change the angle. So if I wanted it to be that angle for some reason, or this angle for some reason, whatever I wanted. And I can change the size as well. You know, so I can make it really big if I just wanted it to be an eye. Or maybe it was Ozymandias. Right? So there you go. I can just do one eye if I wanted to. Um, I don't like those changes, so I'm going to choose no. But I can still do all those things, save, and have it ready to use. So that's just kind of a slightly different twist on that green screen option.